Hello everyone. So today we're going to be talking about a character that is probably the most powerful in all of the MCU. The character is named Eliath. We saw it in the Loki series. Pretty cool. Basically a big cloud monster that goes around destroying everything as far as we know. It kills off anything at the end of time that is there with him. And Kang actually uses this as a way to keep everyone out and away from him. But we'll go on and discuss the origin as well as what this character really is. Eliath is the first being who broke free from the constraints of time. The empire that this creature created is larger than that of Kang himself, stretching billions of years before the rise of man on Earth. His domain is approximately twice to maybe three times as large as Kang's temporal empire. But because Eliath never attempted to expand the empire that he was in into a more vertical, distant timeline of eras, and therefore really only extended as far back as 2000 BC. Now, Kang did create a barrier preventing Eliath from entering his domain. But after Kang was left on the brink of death, Ravona the Terminatrix assumed his identity and took over his empire. While investigating Eras earlier in time, she accidentally released Eliath, who then threatens Kang's former domain and all other temporal dominions further up the time stream. Ravana was able to retrieve Kang, who provided the Avengers with the Chrono Key to use against Eliath, which was in reality Tempest, who upon being released inside Eliath, grew to match it in power, locking both of them in an eternal combat situation. Later, Kang would try to keep his rival temporal empires occupied and weaken Tempest so that Eliath would break through, invading the dominion of the Congress of Realities. Now, if you don't know who the Congress of Reality is, that is fine. It's not used in Marvel very much, but when it is, it's pretty cool. We'd like to let you know a little bit about that so we can tell you a little bit more about Eliath. The Congress of Realities is rather interesting and maybe even more interesting than the TVA itself. It has representatives from nearly every reality in existence. They actually have representatives from trillions of realities. It is an organization whose temporal domain is approximately twice as large as that of Kang the Conqueror, with nearly ten times as many member worlds. The temporal dominion is, as the name states, a democracy or a constitutional republic. Through various means, Kang blindsided the Congress of Realities to usurp them and do his bidding through the timelines, and thus cover Kang's butt in a manner of speaking all the way through all times. And it wouldn't be one of our videos if we didn't do the powers and abilities. On the power grid, strength, speed, and durability are all off the charts. And this is due to Eliath being a trans-temporal entity. Essentially, it is a enormous cloud destroying all it touches. It exists across divergent timelines and causes massive temporal disturbances, aka devastation across entire dimensions. It can attack focal beings or locations and grow in size and mass by absorbing the bodies of time travelers into its mass. Once it occupies a time period, it spreads out to engulf the adjacent realities and everything within that reality. Eliath also negates temporal energy, preventing travel through it to a time before it existed. Attempts to travel through Eliath usually result in absorption into its mass, the one exception being Sylvie in the Loki series, as she was able to enchant Eliath. Now, Sylvie is the exception to the rule. She is one of the only characters in the current MCU right now that has the powers of manipulation in that way. We've seen Mantis do something similar to where she can put people to sleep and give people suggestions and make them feel a certain way. However, this is a little bit different in that she's actually getting the character to do her bidding, not being forced into it. The creators for this character were Mark Grunewald and Mike Gustavich. And the first appearance was in the Avengers, the Terminatrix Objective Number 1, July of 1993. Anyway, you folks, I hope you enjoyed this version of Eliath. I hope this gives you a little bit more understanding going towards that character. And maybe if you're watching coming off of the series of Loki, 
We hope you get an idea of what this character really is if you didn't already have an understanding that he's a big giant cloud monster that eats everything in sight. You guys have a great day, a good night, a good morning, whichever. Like, share, and subscribe. This is Review With You. So we want you to write down different suggestions every time you get a chance. Let us know what you would like us to go ahead and talk about. As always, Excelsior, see ya.